So you guys have been asking for Nicole and I to do a challenge video, so this week we decided to do it. Now I've picked a challenge that neither of us had done before, that way it makes it fair. Now I know we're probably going to make a few mistakes in this challenge, but hey, that's half the fun. So for this challenge we're going to do some fluid art using some epoxy resin. We've got ourselves some diamond coat, some coloured paste, We've got some jam and glass glitter. And because we have no idea what we're going to make, we've also got some seashells. And some sand. Some other things we'll be using are rubber gloves, a silicon mat. And a heat torch. Now before we start pouring, I need to prep our canvases. Now I'm going to take some thumbtacks and put them underneath. That way it keeps them off the ground. And I'm also going to add some of this painter's tape. That'll make it easier to clean the drips off at the end. So now that we have our canvases ready, it's time to start pouring. I think we should paint a base coat first. Oh, do you reckon? Yeah. Well, I'm going to go for a bit of a dark theme, so I guess I need to start with a black base. How about you? I think I'm going to go with blue. So now that the canvases are dry, I'm just mixing up the resin. Now we've never done anything like this before, so I'm assuming this is probably going to be plenty, and we're just going to put it into some smaller cups, that way we can add any colours that we want to. For my base colour, I'm going to go a dark turquoise. I'm assuming you just use your hands, right? That's what I was going to do. I mean, every time I've seen someone else do it, that's kind of what they do, don't they? I think so. You know what I think we should do? What's that? I think we let all the viewers vote on who makes the best canvas. That's not fair, you've got an advantage. No, they love you just as much as me. And then, whoever the loser is, has to do all the chores in the house for a week. Do you want me to comment on that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I do my fair share. What do you reckon? How about, and then, the loser has to do all the chores, but if I lose, i got to do it dressed as you, and if you <laughs> lose, you got to do it dressed as me. Does about, that mean you're going to wear a skirt? Well, if I have to. But who says I'm going to lose? I might win this masterpiece. Look at my start. How cool is that? It's like finger painting. Steal some of your blue? No. Oh, just a little bit. Okay, I've got three blues ready. I don't know which one to use first. Um, well, if you're going to do ocean, isn't it lighter towards the sand and then darker as it gets deeper? We'll see how this goes.
almost looks like crashing waves. Well, that does look cool. I'm going to use your fancy little blower. It's not very powerful. No. Might need the hair dryer. I reckon I could put more air out of my backside. I feel like I didn't put enough on my base layer. Yeah, I don't think you did. There's a lot of air gaps. I need some shells. There you go. Thanks. Ooh, I might use a starfish. I'm going to try some of this green, black, fine glitter. That looks pretty cool. Very spacey like. What do you got there? Some glitter glass. Yeah, German glitter glass. Glass glitter. Glass glitter. 70 grit. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully it makes the sand look sparkly. No idea how much to use. Let's just put it in and see how we go. Alright, the camera just went flat. I don't know how much you guys missed, but this is where we're up to. I'm about to add some black cherry and Nicole is doing her sky. I'm doing a sunset. A sunset. I might wait for all this to set and then put my waves in. That's probably a good idea. Well, since Nicole's pretty much finished for now, we're just going to focus in on mine. And I think now I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. really good. Thanks doll. I think I might just shoot it a little bit with some compressed air. That's way better than the hairdryer. Well now that we have the bases pretty much finished we're gonna leave these to dry and then come back. Nicole still needs to put her waves on and I need to put on a top coat. So we've got a bit of an update. I'm really not happy with my sand. Yeah, it's looking a little bit sporadic with the uh, glass. So, what's the plan? So I've got these three colours. 
of the German glass glitter. And we got the bright, bright gold. gold, copper, and a bit more of the gold. All right. So we're going to try and thicken it up a little bit. Got our resin there ready to go. So let's do it. So you're going to go all three together, eh? Yeah, why not? I think that's looking better already. Just filling in all those little gaps that were there. Yeah, and I think once I put the waves on too, it'll make a big difference. Since we're waiting for Nicole's sand to dry, I'm going to go ahead and put on my top coat. Now I'm just going to cover it up until it's dry. So you found something else to put on, hey? I did. What do you got? Got a moon. Yep. Where are you going to stick that? Mm, I'm thinking about here, just in the a bit of the blue. Yep. So hopefully that works. And what else did you find? And I've got two little dolphins. Two little dolphins. Sweet. All right. What are you going to do? Put a bit of clear down Put first? Put a bit of clear down. Uh, I might stick it on this. So what are they printed on, like acetate or something, is it? Yeah, they're just printed on. They're pretty cool, because they like fully disappear once you put them on clear resin. They do. Well, that's looking pretty good. So what's next? We're going to put some waves on it? We are. I'm going to use some UV resin. Yeah. And I'm going to attempt this. I've never done this before. So what are you doing first? <sighs> A strip, um, a strip, a strip of... of UV. Alright. So let's start up the top. Oh, we might start down the bottom. And then what's that? Some white paste? Oh, I've made up some white, just some white pigment paste. Titanium white. Alright, all that's left now is a flood coat and yours is finished. Alright, let's go. Wow, that's looking really nice. So cool. Well, it's now time for you guys to pick the winner. I'm going to leave two comments down below. One's going to say Ben, one's going to say Nicole. And all I need you guys to do is hit the thumbs up on who you think should win. So don't forget, the loser has to do the chores for a week. Now, if you guys like this challenge video and you want to see more, let us know in the comments or maybe even give a suggestion as to what we can do. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.